brothers and sisters, it's such a delight to interact with you today. Thank you ever so much for joining us. This is Healing Streams, the place where God's word transforms lives and destinies. I pray that God would touch every area of your life. In Jesus' name, amen. Today's topic, rescued, rescued. Quite a dramatic word, a word that indicates a huge change, a positive shift, a shift in circumstances, a shift in position, a shift in destiny. Some people know they need rescuing, but others may say, I'm not trapped, I don't need to be rescued. If you're limited in any way, you may need rescue. If you're not living in the fullness of God's promises, you may need rescue. If you need more favor, you may require a rescue. Psalm 106 verse 4. Remember me, Lord, when you show favor to your people. Come near and rescue me. I pray you will not be left out. The Lord will rescue you and show you favor in Jesus' name. Rescue must be important. That word rescue occurs 324 times in the New Living Translation of the Bible. You're going to hear that word rescue repeatedly throughout this episode. To rescue means to save someone from a distressing or dangerous situation. Similar words are free, liberate, release, deliver. Do you want to be delivered? Do you want to be rescued from difficult circumstances? God is more than able. Psalm 18 verse 16. He reached down from heaven and rescued me. He drew me out of deep waters. Do you want to be rescued from that trial that has passed its expiry date? Yes, trials have their purpose. They build us up. They make us stronger. Because of our trials, we can comfort others in the way that we have been comforted. But some trials are lasting longer than God intended. 2 Peter 2 verse 9. The Lord knows how to rescue godly people from their trials while keeping the wicked under punishment until the day of final judgment. May Almighty God rescue you from your trials in Jesus' name. Do you want to be rescued from powerful enemies? 2 Samuel 22 verse 18. He rescued me from my powerful enemies, from those who hated me and were too strong for me. Do you want to be rescued? Rescued from oppression, Exodus 18 verse 11. I know now that the Lord is greater than all other gods because he rescued his people from the oppression of the proud Egyptians. Do you want to be rescued from relentless and stubborn pursuers? Psalm 31 verse 15. My future is in your hands. Rescue me from those who hunt me down relentlessly. Have you been lied against? Has this put you in trouble? with the authorities? Has this led to challenges in your career? Do you want to be rescued from the liars, from ungodly people? Yes, you do. Psalm 43 verse 1. Declare me innocent, O God. Defend me against these ungodly people. Rescue me from these unjust liars. Yes, they may set career traps for you, but God is always ahead. So I ask, do you want to be rescued from traps of the enemy? Psalm 25 verse 15, my eyes are always on the Lord for he rescues me from the traps of my enemies. Hallelujah. Do you want to be rescued from persecution? Psalm 7 verse 1, I come to you for protection, O Lord my God. Save me from my persecutors. Rescue me. I don't need to ask you if you want to be rescued from death. Psalm 118 verse 13, my enemies did their best to kill me, but the Lord rescued me. Psalm 56 verse 13, for you have rescued me from death. You have kept my feet from slipping. So now I can walk in your presence, O God, in your life given lights. I proclaim you shall not die. You will live and declare the works of the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus. Why does God rescue? God rescues for his glory. Isaiah 48 verse 11. I will rescue you for my sake. Yes, for my own sake. I will not let my reputation be tarnished and I will not share my glory with idols. Why does God rescue? God rescues to show himself as our God. Leviticus 22 verse 33. It was I who rescued you from the land of Egypt that I might be your God. I am the Lord. 
Why does God rescue? God rescues us because he loves us. Deuteronomy 7 verse 8. Rather, it was simply that the Lord loves you and he was keeping the oath he had sworn to your ancestors. That is why the Lord rescued you with such a strong hand from the slavery and from the oppressive hand of Pharaoh, king of Egypt. Why does God rescue? God rescues us so we can have seasons of rest. 2 Chronicles 32 verse 22. That is how the Lord rescued Hezekiah. So there was peace throughout the land. God rescues us so that we can serve him without fear. Luke 1 verse 74. We have been rescued from our enemies so that we can serve God without fear. How does God rescue? There are so many ways in which God can rescue. I'll mention a few. God can rescue by his powerful arm. Exodus 6 verse 6. Therefore say to the people of Israel, I am the Lord. I will free you from your oppression and will rescue you from your slavery in Egypt. I will redeem you with a powerful arm and great acts of judgment. God can rescue with his strong hand. Exodus 13 verse 9. With a strong hand, the Lord rescued you from Egypt. God can rescue with his power and his might. Psalm 54 verse 1. Come with great power, O God, and rescue me. Defend me with your might. How does God rescue? God can involve you in the rescue. Based on God's instructions, David pursued, he overtook, and he recovered all. God can rescue through people. Joseph was in danger. His brothers planned to kill him, but God stepped in through Reuben, another brother, and Joseph was rescued. How does God rescue? God can send angels of rescue. Daniel 3 verse 28. Then Nebuchadnezzar said, Praise to the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. He sent his angel to rescue his servants who trusted in him. They defied the king's command and were willing to die rather than serve or worship any god except their own god. How does God rescue? God can rescue through signs and wonders. Daniel 6 verse 27. He rescues and saves his people. He performs miraculous signs and wonders in the heavens and on the earth. He has rescued Daniel from the power of the lions. I love that miraculous signs and wonders. God rescues in so many ways by the breath of his nostrils, by the winds, the heaven and the earth belong to God. He can rescue with anything at his disposal. Let's consider some other questions. How often does God rescue? And I'm so thankful for Psalm 34, verse 19 and 20. The righteous person faces many troubles, but, but the Lord comes to the rescue each time. For the Lord protects the bones of the righteous. Not one of them is broken. So who does God rescue? God rescues those who call out to him. God rescues the weak and the weary. Psalm 34 verse 17 to 18. The Lord hears his people when they call to him for help. He rescues them from all their troubles, all their troubles. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted. He rescues those whose spirits are crushed. Who does God rescue? God rescues those who worship him. 2 Kings 17, 39. You must worship only the Lord your God. He is the one who will rescue you from all your enemies. God rescues those who delight themselves in him. 2 Samuel 22, verse 20. He led me to a place of safety. He rescued me because he delights in me. God rescues the humble. 2 Samuel 22, verse 28. You rescue the humble, but your eyes watch the proud and humiliate them. God rescues those who trust in him, Jeremiah 39, 18. Because you trusted me, I will give you your life as a reward. I will rescue you and keep you safe. I, the Lord, have spoken. God rescues those who love him, Psalm 91, verse 14. The Lord says, I will rescue those who love me. I will protect those who trust in my name. Do I hear you say, I love God, so he will rescue me. But can you love God if you have not accepted his son, Jesus Christ? God has made a pathway to himself through his son, Jesus Christ. John 3 verse 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, his one and only son, that whoever 
believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. That's God's gift to you. Jesus came to the earth. He died. He rose again. He resurrected so that you can live a successful life here on earth and have life everlasting, eternal life. After you leave the earth, you can change the course of your life and destiny right now by accepting Jesus as your Savior and your Lord. Please accept Jesus today by saying this prayer with me. If you're a Christian who has strayed away from God, you can say this prayer also. The prayer is visible on the screen. Please let us pray. Almighty God, I confess that I have done things my own way. Going forward, I choose to do things your way. I accept your son, Jesus Christ, as my savior and as my Lord. Lord Jesus, come into my life. If you said that prayer, you have joined or rejoined the family of God or you have reaffirmed that you belong to God. Congratulations if you just joined God's family. To continue your Christian journey, please join the Bible Believe in Church. In addition, please send a message to the number on your screen, 0708-225-6051, stating, I gave my life to Christ. If you're outside Nigeria, the number is plus 234-708-225-6051. We'd like to help you navigate the next steps. Rescued. I'd like us to take some prayer points together. They're quite a number, so please follow on the screen. If the pace is too fast, please feel free to come back later to pray with further depth. Psalm 145 verse 19, he grants the desires of those who fear him. He hears their cries for help and rescues them. As you cry out today, as you cry out to God today, he will hear your cries for help. He will rescue you and grant you your heart's desires in Jesus name. Prayer point number one. Oh God, my father, please rescue me. I love you. Please rescue me. I worship you. Please rescue me. I trust in you. Please rescue me. I delight myself in you. Please rescue me. In Jesus name, amen. Prayer point number two, Psalm 50 verse 15. Then call on me when you are in trouble and I will rescue you and you will give me glory. Let us pray, oh Lord, rescue me from every trouble. Rescue me from stagnation, demotion and delay. Rescue me from rejection and shame. Rescue me from irrelevance. Rescue me from obscurity. Rescue me from every negative circumstance. I give you glory in the name of Jesus. Prayer point number three, 2 Peter 2 verse 9. The Lord knows how to rescue godly people from their trials while keeping the wicked under punishment until the day of final judgment. Let's lift up our voices and say, Jehovah God, rescue me from every trial that has passed its expiry date. Rescue me from every trial that has passed its expiry date. Rescue me from every trial. Rescue me from every captivity. Rescue me from self-imposed captivity. Rescue me from every generational captivity. In the name of Jesus. Prayer point number four. Psalm 25 verse 20. Protect me. Rescue my life from them. Do not let me be disgraced. For in you I take refuge. Job 5 verse 19. From six disasters, God will rescue you. Even in the seventh, he will keep you from evil. Let us pray, almighty God, rescue my life. Do not let me be disgraced. I take refuge in you. Rescue me from every disaster. Keep me from every evil. Protect me. Protect my family. Protect my loved ones. In Jesus' name, amen. Prayer point number five, Psalm 97 verse 10. You who love the Lord hate evil, hate evil. He protects the lives of his godly people and rescues them from the power of the wicked. Let us pray, Lord my God, rescue me from the power of the wicked. Rescue me from every hierarchy of darkness, from principalities and powers, from the rulers of darkness of this world. Rescue me 
from spiritual wickedness in high places. In Jesus' name, amen. Prayer point number six, Psalm 70, verse one. Please, God, rescue me. Come quickly. Lord, come quickly and help me. Let us pray. Jehovah Sabaoth, rescue me quickly. Rescue me from powerful enemies. Rescue me from oppression. Rescue me from relentless and stubborn pursuers. Rescue me from ungodly people and from liars. Rescue me from every trap of the enemy. Rescue me from persecution. Rescue me from death. In Jesus' name, amen. Prayer point number seven, Psalm 18, verse 16. God reached down from the heaven and rescued me. He drew me out of many waters. He drew me out of deep waters. Let us pray, omnipotent God, please rescue me. Draw me out of deep waters. Rescue me from the deep waters of financial debt. Rescue me from financial embarrassment. Let all my buried blessings be rescued. The blessings of the deep. Rescue me from failure. Rescue me from every pit dug by the enemy. Rescue me from every lion's den. Rescue me from every prison. Pull me out of captivity, O Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. We're still praying. Prayer point number eight. Almighty God, rescue me in a multiplicity of ways. Rescue me by your powerful arm. Rescue me by your strong hand. Rescue me by your power and your might. Send angels to rescue me. Send out the hosts of heaven to rescue me. Rescue me through miraculous signs and wonders. In Jesus' name, amen. Prayer point number nine, Psalm 18, verse 47 and 48. He is the God who pays back those who harm me. He subdues the nations under me and rescues me from my enemies. You hold me safe, Lord, beyond the reach of my enemies. You save me from violent opponents. Psalm 97, verse 10. You who love the Lord hate evil. He protects the lives of his godly people and rescues them from the power of the wicked. Oh Lord, I thank you for subduing the nations under me. Thank you for rescuing me from my enemies. Let's lift up our hearts in thanksgiving. Thank you for holding me safe beyond the reach of my enemies. Thank you for rescuing me from the power of the wicked. In Jesus' name, amen. Prayer point number 10. Abba, Father, rescue me so I can serve you more. Rescue me so I can serve you without fear. Rescue me so I can bring glory to your name. Rescue me to prosper. Rescue me to fulfill destiny. Rescue me comprehensively in every area of my life. My Lord who rescues me, perform mighty miracles, signs and wonders in my life. In Jesus' name, amen. Prayer point number 11, Psalm 30, verse 1. I will exalt you, Lord, for you rescued me. You refuse to let my enemies triumph over me. Let us pray, omniscient God, I exalt you. I extol you. I praise you because you have rescued me. I praise you because you refuse to let my enemies triumph over me. I praise you for who you are, almighty God. In Jesus' name, we pray. Prayer point number 12 are your personal prayer requests. I'd like to agree with you in prayer. Matthew 18, 19 tells us that if any two persons shall agree in the name of Jesus, it shall be done by our Father. Please lift up your voices to Almighty God, the omnipotent, all-powerful God. Ask God to visit you in specific areas of your life. Ask God to visit you in special ways, in superlative ways. Lift up your requests. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Heavenly Father, I'm so thankful. We are so thankful for your precious promises. We're thankful that when we pray, you answer us. And I agree with all those listening to me right now that their prayers will become testimonies. And those testimonies begin right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thanks for praying along with me. And as we pray further, please feel free to type amen in the chat box. You have cried out to God for rescue. The Lord strong and mighty will rescue you. The Lord mighty in battle will rescue you. The Lord of hosts will rescue you. God will rescue you 
from every storm. God will rescue you comprehensively in every area of your life. In the name of Jesus, you are rescued from evil arrows, rescued from the snare of the fowler, rescued from the machinations of Satan, rescued from every scheme of the enemy. The hand of the Lord has repositioned you. Your days in captivity have expired. You are rescued from low places, rescued from fruitless places, rescued from the prison, rescued from the desert, rescued from the wilderness, rescued from all negativity. You are bouncing back. You are rescued for greatness, rescued to excel, rescued to shine, rescued to increase, rescued to expand. You are rescued and restored. You are rescued and repositioned. You will show forth God's glory. You will show forth God's power. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. Please join me next Saturday at 8 a.m. West African time for the next edition of Healing Streams. Please like this video and share it. Bless someone today. You might even win a soul. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel you're watching. Kindly invite your friends and family to subscribe also. Click the bell icon so you'll be notified when Healing Streams is on air. Thanks to our Facebook family for joining us week after week. You can also follow Healing Streams with Femi Pitta on Instagram. At Healing Streams with Femi Pitta, you can view all the videos in one place. You can view back episodes without scrolling through months and months of material. It's been such a joy and such a delight bringing Healing Streams to you today. And may the Healing Streams of peace, joy, mercy and love flow towards you and your family in Jesus' name, amen. Shalom.